what is going on ladies and gentlemen before we get into what the hell's going on right here we gotta talk about thieves there are some rats in the sewers of my life <laughs> not really but it is it just it kind of amuses me the whole coincidental situation of like for those of you that remember the recent street fighter videos i did how like i'm trying to learn street fighter from the ground up and so to do in order to do that i'm gonna pick ryu and you know build myself a foundation before i so so i can learn how to play street fighter before i learn how to play whatever character i end up maining that was the intention behind it and so it's kind of amusing to me that now like the newest excellent adventures with uh gutex and mike ross has mike ross going back to basics and using ryu to build himself back a foundation and learn how to play street fighter i don't know i'm just saying it's coincidental um but i just thought that was amusing uh just some, just some irony in the situation i suppose but so this shit right here let's talk about this shit that don't nobody like <laughs> i tried out the uh there's like an invasion sometimes there's a factional invasion that happens and you can fight for points and shit and so i was like you know what? let's try this shit so i tried out the faction boss and uh they have perma armor meaning it's not just you know like one hit of armor and then you can put them into a combo they have complete armor you cannot break it you cannot do anything to it everything will just bounce off of them so because of that that fight is absolutely no fun whatsoever it's just it's stupid there's no point to it you can't do anything to a character that has permanent super armor and so it's just it's boring and the only real thing to do is like i mean the only real reason to participate in that is for the faction points but who cares about your faction so then i tried out this shit this is a faction tower uh the invasion tower and it comes with modifiers and they're stupid granted i don't i'm not sure how stupid these will be because i haven't seen any of these yet but like for the first one all of my uh directional buttons were reversed so and it's not just like for instance modox jamming bomb where I believe in that, all that it only changes your left and right buttons. It doesn't change up and down. But in this, it changed all of them. It changed left, right, up, and down. So I had to hold up if I wanted to block low. Uh, it was a nightmare to try and, you know, obviously do anything with that. So I ended up just standing there and just holding the block button and waiting until the uh, AI got close enough for me to smack in the face. And then I smacked them in the face and then continued standing there and just waited fun gameplay right there and then uh the next one reversed all of, it didn't reverse it just switched up all of my buttons so kind of the same thing just buttons instead of directions except there it's changed round to round every single round the buttons became something different so i had just enough time to figure out what each button does and adjust to it and figure out you know the sequence of combos i need to do uh the sequence of moves i need to do in order to get combos for them just to switch it all around again so fuck that noise and then the next one has the screen fade to black like every three seconds so you just can't see what's going on it's all just shit that's like this might be kind of like fun for some you know nonsense party bullshit with friends but when you have when you're on one side an ai that will be completely unaffected by this shit is on the other side it's not fun so we're about to see i think this is the last fight i hope this is the last fight Round don't perform an uppercut okay oh my god this shit fuck are my controls reversed because i'm not getting special moves oh my god there's a tornado god, this, this, i mean this is what i talk about i had this one too oh my god my controls are reversed did i just get hit by a fire like what the hell what fire hit me What do I have to do? Fuck it, I'm just x-ray. Whatever. Whatever! Who gives a shit? Now we're right side up for the duration of the x-ray. But this is what I'm talking about! This is still- So my controls are different here, so up is down. Basically. Actually, I think they're completely different. No, they're not completely different. This is 
so dumb. And then it switches. God, that's disorienting. Hope none of you get motion sickness. These fucking meteors. I'm just wake up, grab, didn't work. Nope, that wasn't right. <laughs> I tried to adjust uh, to do a. Okay, good. That was the last one. See, that's a... there's just those modifiers. It's like some of them are fine. Like the stage hazard shit. Like that's okay. I guess that's a reason to do it. One thousand coins. Nah, that's not worth it. Not for one thousand coins. Base. Oh. You know, like the rever the screen reversal, the input reversal, just all of that shit. Stage hazards and stuff like that is okay. You can use them to your advantage. But the other things, just fuck it. It turns it into just bullshit. Let me get, actually. I'll go show. I'll show you this boss fight. I think ultimately the real intention isn't really to like do stuff to like damage him. It's just you should be trying to block everything so like maybe I should just be doing down one attacks and then block everything then do a down one when I get an opportunity <laughs> that's actually something I need to talk about uh, discoveries and how to play fuck I wanna actually, I should actually test this out. Can you throw? Nope. Yeah. So that that's what I'm talking about then. It's completely pointless. You can't do anything. And they're, and you know, when they can, the AI, the way a fighting game AI is designed, uh, is just inherently designed in the majority of fighting games, is that it reads your inputs. And it reacts to your inputs. So when you have something that is reacting to your inputs and has armor it's just gonna blow through before you can recover every single time no matter what button you press so i have no idea what they were thinking when they designed that fight instead of actually like making it challenging and interesting they just said ah oh, let's just give that character full hyper armor and call it a day excellent wonderful design right there so mortal kombat uh i ran a set with a uh somebody from the from the from the a, a viewer and somebody from the friends list um i'm not gonna post the entire thing because ultimately i think i am not good enough that people want to care about that much like it's the first video was like 55 minutes long i think about 40 of that was part of that match and there's another like 40 minute video after that uh it basically was a i kind of turned it into a first of 15 ish except i went to 16 but whatever um but ultimately, it's just it's a simple fact that, you know, I was looking at the game the wrong way. Uh, I was looking at the game as if I needed to find... Um, I needed to be able to punish everything with a full combo. That was how I was... I think that's what I want. And so my entire game plan was... Try and punish with these moves. My, hit... Uh, Kotokan's fastest move that he can confirm into a full combo is 10 frames. It's his back one attack. And so I was sitting there thinking, that's what I need to do. I need to find places to punish, but that's not that was that was the wrong mentality to have because most things are not more unsafe. There are very few things that are more unsafe than 10 uh, negative 10. Uh, and they are very well actually they're really not obvious. That's the unfortunate part really is that none of it's obvious. Like you will have Kotokan actually has a perfect move for this. His quarter circle 4-2 move, which is the one that goes into animation, sticks in your shoulder, and he rips it out if it hits. If it doesn't hit, it slams past you, it pushes you, your, you know, the character, it hits backwards, does this little shockwave kind of thing on the ground, but that doesn't have a hitbox at all. Um, and then Kotokan just kind of sits there for a bit. Like, kind of just keeps the, uh, whatever the weapon is called, stuck to the ground for maybe like a quarter of a second. And then he pulls it back and resheathes it. So you would think, seeing that animation, that move must be punishable. But it's not. It's only something like, it's 
I mean, it's negative on block. Actually, I guess we can go see that, right? Right now. Oops, I guess we kind of want to be more god for that. I think it's like negative five or something like that. Like, it's not punishable. However, be, there are, again, like I said, most things in this game are not punishable. That being said, there is very little in this game that is plus on block or neutral on block. So let me check this shit out. What are you? Negative five. Um, but so then you go through here and you look at all this shit. Negative 68? Holy crap. <laughs> I guess that makes sense because it doesn't actually hit anything. Real talk? I don't believe you. Maybe. Let's see. We, we can check that pretty easily. We make him block everything but duck. See, there's no way. Look how he gets to move. Like, so basically, if that was zero on block, I would be jumping at the same exact time he was crouching. But there is a significant amount of time uh, between... Oops, that was a long attack. There's a significant amount of time. That's something I need to be using more full screen just to kind of make people wary. And then you can also cancel it by holding up. So that's kind of, you know, that's a it's a mind game. I do need to get into using... I need to get into using a lot of things more. I know my Kotokan is sub-average uh, right now. But yeah, so that's that's the way I test things. You make... Unfortunately, you can't do it for everything. But like with lows, you can do it. Uh, because they'll try, they'll try to block something low. Or with uh, overheads, they'll do it. Because they'll try to block those high. And then they'll duck back down. And so, you know... Unless I completely misunderstand how this game works, which is entirely possible. It's entirely possible that they can still be technically stuck in Bloxton, but can move their block animation up and down. That's 100% possible that they designed it that way. It would be really weird, uh, incredibly illogical from, you know, incredibly inconsistent with every other fighting game out there, but it is possible. But that would be the way that you would test this kind of thing uh, to see if something's neutral is you would do something like that. You would make them block it. And then King of Fighters 13 actually had the best um, way to do this. There was something that I can't, I believe it was like you could hit them or you could put them into block stun. And then there was a setting you could change so that once they got out of block stun, they would jump. And so that you could get frame data out of that by basically you make somebody block something, then you both hold up, and then whoever jumps first, if you, I mean, if the character that throws out the move jumps first, it's plus on block. If the character that blocks jumps first, it's negative on block. And then you can also, you know, record it and then go frame by frame to see exactly how uh, much block stun there is attributed to it. All of that shit. So that's kind of what I'm... Uh, slightly what I'm doing here. It's not the same exact thing. You can't do the same thing here. But um, that would basically be... You know what I've always kind of wondered? Can you... No, it doesn't... It, that wouldn't work because it doesn't... I was gonna. I was wondering if you could like armor a breaker, but that would be thinking like breakers were like bursts in that um, they just you just do them when you're in block stun or hit stun, versus a breaker is triggered off of getting hit. So there's no way to bait those out. It'll just you hit them, they break, it's done. So I was I don't know why I was thinking about that. I was just trying to look at things that could potentially beat breakers, but I don't think that's possible. Oops. Uh, so yeah, so I just, I was looking at this game from the wrong point of view and thinking that I needed to be able to punish everything and get into a combo, but instead of that, I need to just basically be using my fastest moves, which for Kotokan, he has two six frame moves. He, uh, his crouching one is a six frame move and it's a little crouching jab. I think that one only hits mid and then his crouching three, which is this, he kind of does a little like what is it like that you know how you know they do the irish dance thing cross your arms duck down get knees to about a 90 degree angle and you start kicking your feet out that kind of dance that's actually what the move looks like but that's a low attack and but the other uh the one has further range the other one's a low instead of being um just a mid attack so i need to be using those to punish get a little bit of damage and then i start my mix up off of that I start to run my offense off of that so I don't get a full punish but I get the potential for a full combo and then I just have to look out for blatantly incredibly unsafe things to punish with real combos but the majority of the time it's going to be that it's going to be okay 
That move they just used is negative. Now let me, now it's my turn to do something until I can end my pressure, until I am forced to end my pressure. But let's talk about Reptile and how I really need to learn this character. You know why? Because he has, I think it's like the fourth time I've said this, but I believe the other times I said it were all in the videos that I want to kind of just edit into like a best of moments kind of a deal. Motherfucker's got an 11 frame overhead. That shit right there, it's an 11 frame overhead and he can't confirm off of it with uh, proper sprint canceling. Oops, I didn't even try to dash right there. Anyway, I know because I've seen it. See right there. So I just, I, you can do it. It's just gonna take some effort on my part and I gotta learn the actual combos, but that's why I need to learn this character. He has an 11 frame overhead. How the fuck can you hate on an 11 frame overhead? Oh, I see, so it ends on a low, so that doesn't actually, so this is all, when it tells you move type, that's all useless. I gotta learn what moves are his lows to begin with. See that shit, look at that, 11 frame startup. Oh, and it's neutral on block. <laughs> of course it is! Why wouldn't it be? Why aren't more people using this I know why more people aren't using this character. It's because people don't care about, like, an, uh... This dude has a... Like, if this... One of you told me that the frame data isn't entirely correct... Which I believe, because Kotokan... <laughs> Kotokan's frame data has, like... It tells you, I think, I think when it just tells you the individual moves, the frame data is correct, but the combo data is all kinds of fucked up. Because, like, for instance, Kotokan has his straight jab, which I think is the same exact thing as this. It comes out in 10 frames. And then, for let's see if it does it for this, too. See all this shit right here? How it tells you, like, 12 frames startup? I think that's only on the last move. I don't think it qualifies as everything else. Because, you know, like, regardless of whether or not you do that chain, or whether or not you do this chain, it always starts with that move. That is always consistent. So it's not going to suddenly start coming out. It's not going to guess, oh, he's going to press 2 next. So let's make this 1 start up in 17 frames. So the combo frame data itself is bullshit. But this, should I would hope, would be accurate? You would, you would hope. But there's been a lot of things that I would hope they would be one way and then they end up not being that way at all in any way shape or form but so let me see. so I need to find again his lows back X sorry that's back three forward three down through I don't think anybody I have never seen any granted I've not looked at everybody yet but I haven't seen anybody with a uh, this dude's frame data is amazing. Like, just looking at him on paper. That's the reason why I was like, yo, this character's gotta be good. Because looking at everything, almost everything he has starts up in less than 12 frames. It's all safe. Like, look at how much of this shit is just neutral on block. That is, for, at least for Quan Chi and Kotokan, unheard of. Nothing they do is neutral on block. Um, But yeah, so I need to find. So none of those were. It was the X button. You can combo off that? I don't. Th it doesn't look like you can. Oh, you know what? Can you? I don't think that's. Spe I think I checked that out already, and it's not special cancelable. Yeah, so that's not helpful. So does he not have a good low starter? That was actually pretty fast. I can't remember what his... Oh, you know what? It probably turned into a full half circle. Yeah, it did. Moves that are usually just forward, back, turn into... I don't know why. You would think they would be back, down, and then forward if they were going to turn into full half circle forwards or half circle backwards moves. But anyway. So yeah, it doesn't look like he has any particular... He doesn't have any, like, good low starter combos, which kind of makes sense. That does make this a little bit less dangerous because then now you can't, you can generally block high and then if you start getting hit, you can react to that hit. So let's, I want to find anything that has a low in it. 
Because that's what I need to find right now. That's slow though. And it's very, that's a very obvious tell, that normal. Okay, so that would be something to consider for like a mid combo string. Let's see, do you think it keeps them that close? Okay, you can definitely catch that with this proper sprint cancel. Oh, that's just into throw. Yeah. Of course, it's not special cancelable. Okay, never mind. This character may not be the best. Well, how much damage does that do? Oh, that actually does 16%. That's really... That's not... That's probably unsafe as hell, though. No. Negative 7. That's really not that unsafe. <laughs> if that's actually true. Oh, that starts off a low... God damn it, it's not special cancelable, though. So what the fuck is the point? That's right, we already tried that shit out. So yeah, so he has no real... I think this was it, right? Just this one? That's his only low attack that you can do anything off of. So that's, yeah, again, that's really, that makes this a lot less dangerous. Because that's easy to react to. Like, this dude just spat in your goddamn face. If Reptile's tongue comes out, start blocking low. <laughs> That'll basically handle it for you. So let me try, let me see, what am I... Useless. Oops. I know this move is very useful too. Like, let me actually check this shit out. Oh, you know what? That's probably not special cancelable. Yeah, most launchers like that are not special cancelable. So yeah, so I got a lot of shit to figure out with this character. I gotta figure out moves and stuff, and I'm not gonna waste your time uh, looking for all that shit. Actually, you know what? What is his? That's what I'm looking for. Oh, that took longer than expected. You think you can? Can you boost that shit? Yeah, you can boost that shit to make it faster. So that must be how you do that mid combo. You have to boost it. Because otherwise, that is way too slow to make use of. Unless. Hang on a second. I mean, there it might. No, it's still not. <laughs> Full screen. Still not. No. <laughs> okay. Definitely gonna have to use the EX version of that. So that's basically. I'm learning things, and I need to learn other characters, and I'm also interested, now I'm interested, too, in, and I think that'll probably be the last character I'm interested in. Eh, no. No, it won't. Honestly, if Scorpion was not Scorpion, like, if he didn't have, you know, the fan base he already has, I would be playing Scorpion. Just because you can do those teleport combos, and those teleport combos are pretty fucking awesome. Like, you can do three of them in one combo, it's pretty cool. But I'm just kind of looking around, I'm trying to see... Yeah, there's really not anybody left after. I want to try out Jackie. I want to try out Cassie. And other than them, so... And that give me a good little rotation that would be interesting. If I stick with everything. And I manage to handle everything, I'd stick with... Jackie does good damage and she can also zone. Actually, I think it requires her to be in the full auto mode. Oh yeah, right there. Gains long range machine gun and rocket attack. So she only gets that in full auto mode. So I'd have to figure out. I don't... Actually, I wonder how high-tech would be. Because she seems like she has strong mix-up. And she does fantastic damage. Like, when I played her in story mode, I managed to figure... Like, in story mode, fights. In training mode, it's not that difficult to find combos, f figure out proper chains to utilize, all that shit. When you're in the middle of uh, story mode, when you get, at best, like, six, maybe eight rounds... To figure out a character, not that easy to find combos. I found, I think, 26% combo, like, the very first round that I played with her. And I was like, alright, cool, because she has an extremely strong, I'll just show you. Because she has, it's basically just thanks all thanks to one special move. One very, very strong special move. 
thankfully it's also very unsafe on block, but she has long enough chains that you can confirm into it. You don't have to worry about doing it and then having it be incredibly unsafe. But I think it's... Nope, definitely not that. Half circle, maybe? Yeah! It's this right... Okay, no. That right there. I just did 15% raw. I can't remember what the combo was that I did, though. Definitely not that. Let's see if I could find it. Oh, you know what? I think that was it. That was it. Okay. Oh, it only did 23%, so what did I add on to it? I must have... I did something else, because I know 20... Maybe it was just off of that. Come on, son. Really didn't get it? I think it's just because I'm bad at getting full half circles. What did I... No, I'm getting all emotions right there. You see it. Back, back, back. Down, back, down, down, forward, forward. But I'm still not getting it. Like, you see all of the mo- Oh, never mind, not right there, you go. So I just need to be more careful of making sure I hit here, because that looks like that's the down forward seems to be what I'm missing. Okay, that makes sense, so I was hitting a jump in. But still, like, that's just figuring that out off of, like, one little combo chain. That's very, very strong. Obviously, she's going to have a hell of a lot better than that. So, I need to... I, and I'm interested... I want to have, like... That's actually one of the main reasons why I like Reptile. Why I'm interested in Reptiles. Because I have Kotokan, who's this... Just... Hulk Smash type character. He's not fast. He's not elegant. He doesn't do anything particularly special. special. He just smashes your face in. Quan Chi is a very strong mix-up set play character, but there's not really anything like particularly. He's not. He's not like the kind of a quick, rapid, fast kind of character that I enjoy playing. Uh, Reptile is that kind of character. Cassie seems like that kind of character, and Jackie just. She's Jackie's just fun. But so yeah, so Cassie's definitely on my list now. And then if I can actually get going with all these characters, like you saw me, I forgot everything with Quan Chi, because I spent, like, maybe two days playing that character, then I switched over to Kotokan, and I didn't really step away from Kotokan. So I forgot everything about Quan Chi, and, uh, it was, it was, it was sad times. It was sad times when I tried to play him in a real match, because I forgot goddamn everything. But once I can solidify my knowledge of these characters well enough that I can cycle through them and actually play them decently... I think I'll be in good shape to provide quality entertainment that has been lacking in other fighting game stuff for the time being. So hopefully, just crossing my fingers that that shit works out. Just letting you know where I'm at. Like, I may be spending a bunch of time off camera actually learning things so I can come back and actually be impressive and enjoyable and fun and not, damn, I just dropped another goddamn combo. <laughs> Times N. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see y'all later.